Hi, uh, today we're going to take a look and shoot the Mondal RO-71. I bought this gun because I also own the uh, Mondale Oklahoma and I seen this and I just had to have it. When I got it, it was in really bad shape. All the paint was chipped up. Uh, you can tell that it was abused. So I completely tore it apart, rebuilt the piston, redid the insides, uh, lubed it really good. It was so dry. I also stripped all the paint and uh, repainted it. I think it turned out pretty good. It was missing the uh, part that goes slides in here for the front uh, globe. So what I did is I put a little piece of fiber optic in here instead. Uh, I don't expect this gun to be real powerful or super accurate, but I just thought it was uh, kind of a neat addition for my collection. It does have a pretty nice adjustable rear sight. Uh, there is no safety, and the trigger pull on it is uh, really hard. I would say trigger pull is probably about 5 pounds or so. I wish there was some way that I could adjust the trigger, but I don't want to mess with it because I don't think I could ever find parts for it again. So anyway, uh, let's go shoot this gun and uh, see how it does. I'm going to be shooting it both with some lead pellets and some alloy pellets. Uh, so let's go shoot. Okay, so uh, now let's shoot this uh, Montel RO-71. Uh, it's not a powerful gun. I had to have it because I also own the Oklahoma. This gun was, it was trashed when I got it and I completely redid it. So anyway, let's shoot this. Standard brake barrel. Why well, I moved big time that time. Missed way off. One more. The trigger on this is really hard. I think I'll shoot maybe five of each. And now we're going to shoot the alloy pellets.
I'll shoot a couple more of these alloy pellets. They seem to be working a little bit better. One more. Okay, let's go look at this. Okay, as you can see, the lead pellets, they were like all hitting up here. And I started shooting the alloy pellets, and it tightened up the group a little bit better here. So, you know, it's not a powerful gun, and it's not super accurate, but personally, I think it's a pretty damn cool gun. Well, anyway, that's it for the Mondell RO-71. As I expected, it's not real super accurate. But I'm still going to shoot it once in a while and have fun with it. The reason I bought it wasn't because it's the most powerful or accurate air gun in the world. The reason I buy these is because they are a piece of air gun history. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And as always, thank you for watching. You have a nice day.